All right, in this episode, I'm going to talk about don't let someone else's problems become your problems. Now, this happens a lot overseas. It can, can kind of happen here in the United States. And the, one comedian said he just loves the women that uh, make sure that you know that they have bills to pay. So when you go over to the house and you go in the bedrooms, they have their bills sitting right there on the pillow so you can see. And he's like, well, I don't know, but the problem between you and the collection agent has nothing to do with me. And so basically, basically, you got to understand that when uh, someone starts asking you to help them out financially or helping them out, um, I don't want to say physically, but helping them out for solve problems like maybe babysitting or, or maybe buying some groceries or taking care of somebody who's sick. Sometimes they're just trying to pass the buck and it will never stop. Especially sending money overseas to help out a significant other. You may do it once to help them out because you feel like maybe they, have, maybe they need help. But guess what? The next month they're going to need help again. The next month they're going to need help again. And sometimes, I mean, yeah, they don't make a lot of money overseas. I know like this one lady I knew became a pharmacist, and after she graduated college, she was only making $150 per month. Not much. Not much at all. Just $150 per month. And I'm not saying, she never asked me for money, but what I'm saying is, say, like, um, she lived with her family, so they all pulled their money. They all bought the food, so they might all chip in $50 a month for food, and maybe five people, so there was enough food for the whole family for the whole month. And then she may have a little bit of money, spending money left over. But the, what I'm trying to get at is, say, like, a woman lives overseas and has a child. And she says, well, I need $50 a month for rent. Well, she probably does truly need that $50 a month for rent. Money is very tight. But when the money comes in, she goes, whoa, that $50 was easy. And next thing you know, maybe a family member says, hey, you got $50 to pay rent. That's cool. How next month you ask him for a hundred and we can have a little bit more groceries and we have a little bit more spending money around here. So the next month she asks you for a hundred, you know, fifty pay the rent, and then she got fifty dollars left over. And now the next thing you know, she says, Well, my my water bill's past due for like six months and my electricity's gonna get shut off and uh, the blah 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 and it gets worse and worse and worse. And next thing you know, she's asking you for four or five hundred dollars a month. And it never ends. Because she's now making her problems, your problems. And if you can afford 200, 300 a month, that's your business. I don't want to get involved in it. But here's the big problem. When you're struggling yourself and you tell them, I don't have $100, I don't have $200 to send you. And then they get angry and they're like, you either send it to me. If you love me, you're going to send it to me. If you don't, you don't love me, I don't want to talk to you anymore. Well, that's somebody right there that does, has no respect for you and is not thankful for anything that you have done for them. They should be lucky. They should be happy that you sent them $100. They should be happy you send them $50. If you send them $100 and they say, that's not enough, well, that's enough. You don't need to send them any more money. They're making their problems your problems, and they're trying to make you feel bad for not sending them money. So basically, you need to cut them off as soon as, prob <laughs> as soon as possible because they will never, ever stop. It will get worse. That $50 will go to $100. $100 will go to $200. $200 $400. $400 to $800. There's no reason at all someone in Southeast Asia needs $800 per month being sent to them at all. There is a thing called earn money and given money earn money, they will take care of their entire family. They will take care of their necessities. Basically, it's the money that you worked for. You get your paycheck every two weeks. You work for it. You earned it. You will spend it on your rent, your electricity, your basic needs, your food, personal hygiene stuff, all this stuff here. This is stuff that you really need to buy. So you will buy this You'll buy these items, and this is what you will buy. 
and then the whatever's left over, you can spend, save, whatever you want to do. But in a foreign country, if, say, like, uh, the family's earning $300, $400 a month, and that pays the rent, the food, now you're sending them $300. That's given money. They don't need to buy the food. They don't need to buy the water, pay for the water bill. They don't need to pay for the electricity. They don't need to pay for the utilities. They don't need to pay for this. That's already been paid for. This is giving money. Now that's drinking money, going out money, buying new clothes money. You know, it's not what they need. It's what they want. A need and a want are two different things. So when they want you to send them money, they don't need the money. If they need you to send the money, they need the money. The best thing to do, and if you are vested into this person or you're deeply into a relationship with this person, is to buy a small business for them where they'll make five, ten dollars a day. Instead of you sending them three hundred a month, they now make three hundred dollars a month. So if they now make $300 a month and they're demanding that you send them $300 a month, they're taking advantage of you because now they want $600 a month when they were originally making $300 and you were giving them $300. Now they're making $600. Now they got $300. They're making $300, which is $600. Now they want you to top it off another $300 and make it $900. They are taking advantage of you. There are some families that will say, that is good enough. You don't have to send us money. Now we have a job. And they will be very, very thankful that you took care of them. But there are some people that will not, no matter what you do, it's not good enough for them. They want more. And when they want more, they're making their problems your problems. And they're going to start making up stuff like my aunt's sick. My goat died. I have to buy a new cow for my mother. It's my mother's birthday. My grandmother died. It's always going to be someone's sick. It's always going to be someone's birthday. It's always going to be the bills are late. It's always going to be they have no food in the house. It's going to be there's a robbery and they need more uh, money because the money you just sent them got stolen. They will always find a way to make it your problem, even though it's supposed to be their problem. And once they find out that you're not going to make their problems your problems, they will either say, okay, I went too far, I will stop, or they're going to say goodbye to you. Simple as that. All right, so that's going to do it to me. So don't let someone take advantage of you, and don't let someone make their problems your problems, because it will never end. All right, thank you.